A strong community contains a lot of moving parts, good jobs, a healthy economy, and maybe most importantly, pride. At POET, we are proud to be doing our part, creating new local jobs and spurring economic development while producing products that improve lives around the globe. Together, we're not just working to serve our community, but to change the world. And that's something we can all be proud of. See the world differently with POET. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of In Ohio Country Today. Joining me now is Jason Grevy, and Jason's a corn specialist with AgriGold here in West Central Ohio. Jason, let's talk about the uh, agronomy aspect of uh, AgriGold and its product and, and how you go about determining what product to use when and where. Yeah, sure, Dan. So AgriGold isn't a company that's just devoted to selling you a product. We're a very agronomy-driven company that, you know, once again, I've got the title of a corn specialist. And uh, myself and my counterparts from Ohio kind of pride ourselves in that title of really knowing the ins and outs of product positioning and hybrid placement on the farm. So uh, sitting down with individuals, we like to go through and and dive into, uh, you know, on a one-on-one -on -one basis into a guy's fertility plan, soil types, organic matter, cation exchange capacity levels, uh, basically anything that can help position our products better on that grower's operation. Uh, that's kind of our position as far as a corn specialist goes. You know, it's all about technology and of course, uh, AgriGold celebrating 80 years in the business. So they've been able to apply that technology and able to grow with the farmer and also give them the biggest bang for the buck. It's always looking at trying to improve yields, but also improving quality at the same time. Sure, yep, no doubt about it. So once again, uh, AgriGold celebrating their 80 year anniversary. Um, company was founded by Clarence Aiken back in 1936 as the original Aiken Seed Company. Um, in 1979, the actual AgriGold name was transformed and, and taken into place. Um, so there's been a lot of transition throughout the company um, but been a very stable brand, um, you know, through those 80 years and, and look for continued growth throughout the future um, as we go forward here. So Now, when we talk about the, the varieties and, and what you try to do to customize plans for the farmer out there, let's talk about the drought that uh, most of us experience here in uh, Ohio, especially West Central Ohio, and what effect it had on your varieties. Yeah, sure. So West Central Ohio as a whole was probably one of the hardest hit areas in Ohio as far as drought goes. Obviously, the number one factor was lack of moisture. When you run into, um, you know, less than an inch of rainfall through the entire month of July, halfway through August, as we're starting to go through pollination and grain fill, that's never really a good thing when determining yield. The other factor that really played a big role that a lot of people didn't think about was just the, the amount of heat that we had. Um, not only daytime temperatures, but both nighttime temperatures as well, not letting that plant be able to respire um, through the night. So, um, although I've got to say, Dan, um, for the lack of rain and the heat that we had, pollination was really pretty tremendous this year, given the circumstances that we had. Um, you know, yields haven't been great, but I would say overall 15 to 20 bushel, probably better than guys expected before they got in this corn crop. So while still maybe a little bit of a disappointment, um, I guess better than we kind of anticipate, and I think that's kind of attributed to the improvement in genetics that we've seen here over the past, uh, you know, 20, 30 years, just as far as how well this crop can handle stress. So a lot of it, too, is experience. I mean, 80 years of research and development and technology behind a product like this has really got to bode well for the, sta the stability of the product. Uh, that stability is really what I like to see in a corn lineup. Um, so many times we'll see a new hybrid come out that, you know, is promoted to be very, very solid and, you know, guys get it on their farm and, and you know, something happens or it, it just it fails and is out of a company's lineup the next year. With AgriGold, that's the one thing that we really see is that stability that we bring to the farm. What are you looking forward to in the upcoming years? Yeah, so going forward here, um, like I alluded to, a lot of consistency in our product lineup, but we are bringing some new products to the line just to uh, test the waters into to see if we can find continued improvements genetically um, to our current lineup. Uh, from a trait plant platform standpoint, um, introducing a couple new drought guard products into the product lineup. You know, to go along with that technology as well, you know, we've got a lot of growers out there that are still planting conventional hybrids and agriculture 
got one of the larger uh, conventional product lineups in the industry today. So, Jason, we're out in the cornfield here in beautiful Shelby County, and uh, this particular brand of AgriGold uh, seed is one of your favorites. Let's talk about this particular variety and, and why it's your favorite and the quality and what you're getting out of it here in Shelby County. Yeah, sure. So 6559, probably one of my token go-to hybrids as far as the AgriGold platform. Um, what I like is kind of what I alluded to earlier, brings a lot of stability to the table. When I look at this product the last uh, two or three years, it's been a very stable, consistent product across all soil types. You know, Jason, before we let you go, I really want to talk about that relationship with the farmer. I mean, growing up on the farm and having that agricultural background and having uh, that relationship with your customers is really important to you, isn't it? Oh, no doubt about it. Uh, the biggest priority for us is to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with the customer. You know, um, we like that direct model as far as working one-on-one -on -one with the individual, forming that relationship, really getting to know the ins and outs of their operation and their family. Um, you know, after all, agriculture is a very family-driven business, um, and that's kind of what we strive to, to accomplish at AgriGold, too, is, is, you know, having that AgriGold family be part of that operations family as well. And the AgriGold family is all about the AgriGold brand, and that logo is so recognizable for many, many years. I've always said you could just recognize that logo without even looking at the name, and I think that's something that AgriGold prides itself in is the consistency with those farmers, not just the relationship, but they come back year after year after year. Oh, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, our customer retention, our loyalty has been absolutely outstanding. And, you know, we pride ourselves on that on once again, having that personal relationship and that and that loyalty with that grower. Yeah, when you're in the business for 80 years, again, based on that research and development, great relationships with a farmer, you're going to have that kind of quality company that you can get behind and know that it's going to work for you on your farm. You know, your website is fantastic. There's a lot of good information, so let's talk about where our farmers can go to your website and get more information about this great company and this great product. Sure. Um, yeah, if you go to www.agrigold.com, you can find more information on products, a little bit more about the history, um, along with, uh, you know, our new introduction, which is our soybeans in the portfolio as well, and learn a little bit more about, um, you know, that moving in that soybean market as well. So, um, yeah, go on the website, Dan. That'll give you more information on how to research about agricultural products. Jason Grevy has been our guest. Jason, thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you. Hello once again, everyone. From the Farm Science Review, this is another Farming Fast Fact. Alan Davis, you know we're here and we're learning a lot about ethanol and we've been promoters of ethanol for a long time, uh, also with Poet being one of our sponsors and so uh, excited to understand about their increase in, in their operation coming down the road. Uh, this is a great time to be involved with ethanol. That's right. You know, it's a very exciting time to be involved uh, in, in corn and ethanol production. You know, Poet doubling the size of their plant, um, and, and uh, you know, of course, we have seven ethanol plants right here in Ohio. And if you look at the map, they're convenient. You know, they're right within corn country, and uh, you know, what it's a, it's a great thing because not only are we using that ethanol here, it's 10% blended in gasoline. You know, we have three or four refineries right here in Ohio where that gets blended, um, but you know. We're also talking about value added, exporting ethanol and creating jobs here in Ohio. And I think, you know, this is this is a win win for agriculture and for everybody else. And so, you know, I'm really excited about the opportunity with ethanol. You know, Alan, we work with uh, Dan Wilson. At Dan Wilson is a very strong supporter of ethanol. In fact, I was with him one time and I said, Dan, where are we going? And, and you know, I kept looking at the gas gauge and it was going d down past empty, uh, below empty. And he says, well, there's an E85 pump I'm driving to. And I didn't think we were going to make it, but we got there. And when we got there, Dan had to take a picture because the price of ethanol on that day was $1 cheaper than regular gasoline. That's right. You know, uh, if you have a vehicle to run on E85, you know, with the improved infrastructure we have for distribution now, there's a lot more pumps available. You know, you need to check it out. As a matter of fact, Brad told me this morning, he said he filled up with ethanol and it was $1.47 and regular gasoline was $2.17. You know, it's a good deal. Uh, and, uh, you know, so and that supports jobs and Ohio agriculture. And there are all kinds of farming facts like that, and we're finding out a lot here at Farm Science Review. And uh, along with Alan Davis, I'm Gary Jackson, and this has been another Farming Fast Fact.